You've just denied this lady a promotion. You did that. All of us are ready to promote her because she deserves to be promoted. She had nothing to do with this policy. Let me say it again. Everybody in this body could find an issue with any administration they don't agree with. And what we're going to do is open up Pandora's box. Today is abortion policy. If we take back the White House, we'll go back to the Mexico City policy, limiting dollars to be given to overseas entities that are engaged in the abortion business. Some pro-choice people don't like that. What would happen if they put a hold on all the officers because they don't agree with the Republican administration? There's a reason this, is, this has not been done this way for a couple hundred years. No matter where you believe it or not, Senator Turbeville, this is doing great damage to our military. I don't say that lightly. I've been trying to work with you for nine months. Folks, if this keeps going, people are going to leave. Let me tell you how the system works. You have 18 months, I think, from the time you're promoted to pin on. And if you don't make that gate, your time and grade up or out rule kicks in. There's some people that are waiting to be promoted that if they don't get promoted soon, they're going to be out of the military. Now, how does that help anybody if they're qualified? There's not one senator in here that could not find a reason to object to an administration policy in the military. None of us. We could all find something. I just hope we don't do this routinely. Because if this is the norm, who the hell wants to serve in the military when your promotion can be canned based on something you had nothing to do with? She had nothing to do with this. If you think it's illegal, go to court. We have courts in this country.